this weekend, Central Texans will get to see the first of two solar eclipses uh, in the next six months. So meteorologist David Yeoman is joining us right now, and a lot of people excited about this weekend two of ACL. Oh, yeah. I hope they have their glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered some off Amazon. Yes. There's probably still time to do so, and they're not expensive. This is going to be what's called an annular eclipse, meaning that the moon appears slightly smaller because it's farther from the Earth, so it's actually unable to block the sun entirely. That leaves kind of a ring of fire effect around the moon. That perfect circular ring of fire will be visible in this stripe. Places like San Marcos, Wimberley, and Fredericksburg. But on the periphery of the track, yes, we will get a pretty dramatic eclipse effect, but it'll look a little more like a crescent sun in places like Austin. Here are the timing details for each area. Check this out. This is the case for Austin area next Saturday. The partial eclipse, the sun starting to get covered by the moon, starts at 1024 AM. Set your calendar now this Saturday just after 10 o'clock. 88% of the sun's light will be blocked as we reach maximum eclipse in Austin at 11.54 a.m. The partial eclipse then ends as the moon stops blocking the sun's light in Austin at 1.32. What about Fredericksburg, Stonewall? If you're heading out to Dawson Harper to see the full ring of fire effect, here's the timeline for Fredericksburg. This Saturday at 10.22, the eclipse begins. 90% of the light will be blocked at 11.52 a.m. And then the partial eclipse ends in that area by 1.30. 30 p.m. How about this? The most important part of this, of course, the sky conditions, and it looks perfectly sunny, cool, and low humidity. Wonderful viewing conditions across our area if you want to check it out.